Well, hello everybody. Uh, back with you. Happy Wednesday. Sprite, of course. Sprite, how are you this fine Wednesday? I'm all right, David. How about you? So I hope everybody's looking forward to a um, great Fourth of July, and I uh, hope you have a long weekend. Um, and uh, be safe. Um, fireworks, and of course, don't eat too much. Um, and of course, Sprite skinny as a rail. But um, I need to um, eat a little more. We both could could use to gain a few pounds. I think. No, no, not me, not me. So uh, we want to just uh, share a, a little bit of, of time with you. And again, um, if you're not familiar, my name is David Gross with Condi Systems. And really what we love to do is share our wisdom for sublimation success. And of course, uh, sublimation is a little bit of a moving target. We get into, of course, transfer printers, white toner printers, um, and also, you know, transfer technology. So we have a lot of fun. Uh, we. Um, in just a few minutes, we should be um, seeing your, um, your, your postings, your comments. Um, should have already had it set up um, here. You know, I, and, uh, um, Facebook, face, Facebook is going down. It's been going down for the past couple of days, and I don't know if, uh, if, if we're actually going to stream on Facebook. Uh, okay. So well, we will see. We will see. Um, so... Well, we've had a great week. Um, Sprite and I, as you um, um, that's it. Mm -hmm. is that it there? That's, that's the title? That's the title, Summer Savings in Mugs and Sublimation. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, it is not loading, not loading. Facebook and Instagram are having issues. All right, guys, check us out on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, I apologize. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a YouTube, it's a Facebook thing. It's been going down. All the photos are bad, and... So we'll just, we're just, no big deal. And we'll, um, we'll, um, persevere anyway. We shall overcome, right? Um, so, uh, we've had a lot of fun, and, um, you know, our day jobs a lot of times around here are working on new products, and um, that's one of the great things about sublimation. Um, it fits, of course, very well with my personality. I'm a bad, bad case of ADD. And uh, sublimation is one of those kind of things uh, you get to change your mind about as fast as you possibly can because uh, you can make stuff in minutes. Um, I went down to run errand today um, and I was talking to a lady who walked in and she We're working on it. Thank you, everybody, for letting us know. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, it seems to be pushing pushing audio. You guys, let me know if you can hear me, please. We got a little bit of a delay. Um, yeah, if our day jobs were were video producers, we we might be better at this. And so we appreciate everybody's. Um, Patience and tolerance. Hopefully, okay. we're uh, good right. there. Yep. But anyway, I ran an errand. I went into a place, and the lady was sitting there, and and she was as tedious as she can, weeding vinyl. And I said, you know, we may be able to help you with some solutions that makes it easier. And what she was doing, she was making worksheet work shirts for the people in her office. Everybody in our office, of course, uh, works outside. They're an air conditioning repair company. And I told her, you know, maybe the right thing to do is make them some, um, some sublimation shirts that are moisture wicking. Um, 
they're going to be a lot more comfortable than with those heavy cotton shirts. And so it was, it was, um, ah, you're going to center it here. That's there we good. go. So they can see you. And so uh, it was, um, it was an exciting experience. Um, and I said, please come by our place. So she had her little hobby heat press. Um, I, I couldn't figure out what the brand was, but, um, and when I told her that life could suddenly be without weeding, she just says, you're kidding, you know? And, and I told her you can do full color photographic quality and it's amazing. So um, today what we wanna do is um, fulfill a promise I made and that was to show you what we've been working on on how to um, marry the, the subless shrink with a mug uh, that has a handle. And uh, we're gonna show you two ways to do it. And we've had just a lot of fun and there's so much innovations left. And I wanna thank everybody out there for um, helping us along the way, suggesting things um, really around the world. Um, we get views and comments from, from every part of the world. Um, and, and some of them are just really, really funny. So, um, if I were to take that and unplug it and plug it back in, how bad would that be? They said no still, problem at all. Still distortion. Let's uh, let's see if this fixes it at all. Right, watch me just mess it all up. It's still. All right, guys. Let me see if that fixes it. Still I'm... lots of distortion. Are your uh, still lots of distortion? Your uh, mics are on here. Hmm. I'm on B O five. I'm on. I'm on. See Sorry, guys. Pull it up and Vincent see if we says can, uh, live internet broadcast. Great in theory, not so much in reality. Oh, yeah. Vincent. We will we will get our act together sooner or later here. Well, you know, if we were half as good at video technology as we were at sublimation, we would be top. Okay. So All hopefully right. that's uh, good quality. Um, wish I could actually check it here. But um, just let us know if um, if that helps um, with it. Uh, still crackling. Um, All right. Sorry, guys. Not sure. Not sure. Um, yeah, and I, I apologize about Facebook. I'm not um, Facebook. Something's going on with Facebook. Something's going on with with the, the Facebook itself. Not not on our end. It's it's been happening. I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, your photos not loading, your your profile pictures not loading, and that's just a, a Facebook thing. It's slowly coming down. So, all right. Yep. So last week we were live, and David said he promised Barb that we would do a full bleed mug, and so we're we're going to work on that today. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing that. So a little history first is the the subless shrink has been an, an incredible new method of sublimating to objects that um, are, are just not easily done in a traditional mug press. And, um, and it's opened up so many opportunities for hundreds of new products to put in the oven. So our wheels are turning, um, you know, big, big um, uh, time on, on putting stuff in the oven, so working very hard. Um, and so uh, not lining up, so there's a delay. So at any rate, um, pictures will will share with you what we've got to do here. So um, so you look and sound like the old Chinese movies with bad voiceovers. Yeah, sorry Those are my about favorite that. movies. So. so oh well. Um, sorry guys, this is our um, holiday week broadcast. So yes, yes. This is our short week broadcast. Sure I, week. I told David I, I might need to take a mental health day Friday, so. So he let us go live today. So maybe I maybe I get to stay at home and, and play with my dogs Friday. We'll see. We'll see. Probably not though. Probably not. So so um, those of you shrink wrap the subless shrink, amazing product. Uh, my favorite is the uh, shot glasses, um, and we are working on getting the glass version of the shot glass. At this point in time, we have the ceramic. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous, and they are so easy to do. So. With a handle, though, and, and cheap, you know. I mean, they're oh, very yeah. inexpensive. Very, very inexpensive. Great. So, you know, wraps were the traditional way to do these kind of products, but wraps require a, a clasp of some sort, and so they're just not ideal for things that don't have a handle. Um, 
So um, uh, we've come up with two techniques that um, each one has its, has its merits. Um, you pick which one you want, and so let's go. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So we're going to switch to my top camera. We've got all the, the video. We've got the video going pretty well. We're just working on the, on the audio. That's all right. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you. We are, working, we are working on, as David said, two different methods to do this. And so what I have is I have this image that's going to wrap all the way underneath my handle so you guys can see how far, how close to the handle you can get with each of these methods that I'm going to show you. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, so I've got this template that I just created um, simply by really just, just creating a square, lining it up, and then cutting circles, putting that back into Corel and tracing it out um, so I could have something that kind of resembles an actual uh, template. So, all right, I'm just going to wrap this around. So that is going all the way up to the handle and going underneath. That is correct. That is yeah. so cool. So, and this is just to show you guys how, how much you can get using both of these methods. So the first method we're going to do is the method that I think all of you have tried, and that is to cut a hole in the handle and stick the handle through the shrink film. So we're going to do that one first. And you guys can see I'm just taping this up just to kind of keep it secure. All right. So I have my, this is S. F79. So this is the seven inch by nine inch shrink film. I'm just going to take it and just kind of cut a little little divot out here for the handle. Joanne says, love that pattern. Well, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So again, what you're doing at this stage? So I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just cutting out the teeny tiniest slice so that I can stick my handle out through the bag. Okay. All right. And I'm doing it kind of down towards the bottom of the bag, but uh, if you want to do it in the middle of the bag, that's that's okay. All right. So. So you cut a hole, so I the handle hole. comes right through. And there. I didn't cut it quite deep enough, so I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit. All right. Okay. So I've got my shrink film stretched, and then I'm going to tape it. So I'm gonna tape it. So when I apply the heat to it, it doesn't start to pull away. Well, excuse me. Oh, good stuff, live TV. All right, here we go. So we one piece of tape there, one piece of tape at the top of the handle. All right. I like to fold over my excess. It just kind of makes it easier for me to work with. And now I'm going to shrink. Heat so so it. basically you you taped it so that the shrink wrap won't move when the shrink wrap collapses. Correct, yeah. All right, here we go. All right, come a little forward. With oh, the yeah, sorry. Now. All right. Okay, all right, and that's really it. So you can see, you kind of lose a little bit of. Let's see. No, I'll, I'll give you. You kind of lose a little bit of the shrink film. So you, I don't know if you guys can see the edges, but the edge kind of pulls away a little bit. Um, but that should be should be okay. So there's there's my there's my method number so that's one. That's plan A. That's that's plan A. Okay. Plan B. We're kind of a little more a little more. Hmm. What would you say? What's the term you would use? Well, this is easier for me to deal with. I would say that. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is easier, and it also gives you the option to do a little bit more, I think. I think. All right, so same way with the transfer. I'm going to cut the... Uh, I'm going to tape my transfer just like I did the last time. So we're going to tape at the top. Well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and stick this one in. We're just going to do one mug at a time today. So we got 13 minutes. Okay. Normally we do these mugs for 15 minutes, but today we're going to do them for 13 minutes because anytime you use the shrink film, you need to take some time off of 
your press time, and, I, and 15 is what it's required with the, sh with the uh, so die wrap. Die so, wrap. Uh, yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. And so you're doing, you're taping it on the mug the same way. So that, right. that part of it is So that hasn't changed. Okay. Now, all right, I'm going to take my shrink film. And then I'm going to take this clip, this deep binder clip, and I'm going to clip it all the way to the base of the handle. Probably get slightly centered on the, the clip. Yeah, just a little bit down. There we go. Okay. All right. So, there we go. Now I'm going to apply the heat, uh, the shrink, the heat gun and shrink my heat film. What will that template be available? Yeah, Lucy, I'll have this template. Um, I can, uh, I tell you what, if you want this template, email me, swhatatcondi.com, and let me know what format you want it in, and I'll send it to you. That's yeah, the we'll, we'll way get to it up that. there. Um, and um, so th this is a powerful clip. It is. And, and we need a powerful clip to, to do a good job of holding the shrink wrap uh, tight against the handle as we hit it with heat. And um, now, in addition, did you put the... I did not. All right, let's talk about that real quick. So, also, what this is going to be able to let me do is print on the handle. So, I'm going to do a So, for all you folks out there that have said, let's sublimate to the handle and let's do it in a way that's, I would say, dirt simple, this is it. This is it, yeah. Um, and you know how attractive is a little bit of a design on the handle. I think it looks awesome. And so, um, well, it gives it that little, that extra, that little extra. You know, I like to talk about um, the extra, you know, for and designs. And what's my favorite word for extra? Lanyard. Lanyard. So, a little bit extra. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, you, you take something like this and you marry it with, say, one of our mug boxes. Um, and what do you have? You have just a, a treasure. You have a keepsake. You have something that's, that's really worth a lot of money. Um, so. All right. So I have a couple questions. My email is swood at condi.com. That's S-W-O-O-D, swood at condi.com. Tracy wants to know where we got the clip So we, we've bought them so far off eBay. Um, and so I'm going to, I'll shoot everybody a link ultimately of which clip we have. You just wouldn't believe how many clips I bought. I'm, I'm sure whoever's, you know, if anybody's looking at, at my orders, they're going, you know. What is this guy this, doing? This guy obviously has some sort of strange attraction to clips. Well, and then we um, got every single different type of clip that is available. And then we so. have all the ovens. You know, we got just a massive collection of ovens. So... Um, we, we definitely um, would fit an unusual profile. I know. I love to watch people walk in here, and they're, they kind of stop, and they go, what do you guys do here? And I'm like, oh, fun stuff. All right, so I'm just applying the heat to my mug, giving it a little bit of pressure. Do the same thing with the handle. So, and I don't know if you can see that, but as soon as I applied the heat, what happened is this clip started to rise up a little bit, and that's going to happen if it doesn't have a heavy-duty spring in there. So this is a really good clip. Um, David will let you know where he got it from. eBay. and um, Well, exactly where. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you a link. So we are, we are still looking at clips. Um, being an engineer, um, I have a, um, a design idea to make my own clip. And so I am, I am working on that right now. If there are any people that are um, um, metal workers, um, you know, like machine metal working parts, um, I, need, I need help because um, I don't know of any, anybody that um, so far that I can find that will make the part for me. So we're going to do it again? Do it again. We're going to do second time's a charm. Okay. Yeah, we did take it off. So. I did, and that yeah, and then I didn't recenter it like you told me to. So the um, again, this method works quite well. It's easy, um, and really, you can do it. I think in is in less time than it would take to apply a wrap.
So, time-wise, you're in the same ballpark. Much better. Much better. Okay. Well, time-wise, you're in the same ballpark, and the results are you're going to get a consistent um, full bleed, top to bottom. You're going to be able to get closer to the handle, and the ultimate bonus is sublimation on the handle. Okay. All right. How cool is Sweet. that? Very cool. Okay. So, of course, it's the results that count. It is. All right, so we got uh, uh, some more minutes to go on this one, which is our other one. Did, and are we we'll, counting the minutes? Or? I, got, I got my timer. I got okay. my timer down. Um, swood at condi.com. Yes, Joseph, that is correct. Thank you so much. Um, you guys let me know if you need that template, what format you need it in, and I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll send it right to you. Um, it is exact. There's no bleed on the template. Keep that in mind. Um, so ultimately, we will <coughs> excuse me. have to come up with uh, templates for the most common products that are handle based, um, like the first 15 ounce. So, um, yeah. but but how cool! So going back to the original thing, you couple um, this technique with our mug box, and you know you've got you just a, a, a prize, and you really haven't spent any more money, um, you know, doing it. It just simply looks better. So so how cool is that? Pretty cool. So uh, we got quite a few viewers on YouTube right now. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. I know we're we're not on the Friday like we normally are, and and Facebook is down. So Facebook's just not going to work. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, you can see nothing nothing on Facebook's working. I wonder what's happened to Facebook. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's coming down forever. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, so what, what's 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 happening in, in at Condyland uh, this month, David? Well, um, we now have starting um, starting tomorrow. We are having a sale on lots of stuff. So as you have time, uh, pop over. It um, starts on tomorrow, but it does go through the end of the month, and it's a focus on the products that we offer that are made in the USA. And um, as many folks know, we we do our best to focus and source our products made in USA. Um, and that really has been very successful uh, in many regards. We also operate our own coating facility where we coat um, our ironclad ceramic tires, our cutting boards, our acrylic, um, color light glass, uh, the color light acrylic, color light glass. Um, we coat here in the United States the sandstone um, coasters, the square, the round, and the car coaster. The car coaster is just completely off the scale successful. It is an amazing product. It looks great, feels great. Um, people love it. So if you're not doing those, I recommend um, you do that. Um, we, um, we continue to grow in the products that we're coating right here in the United States. And it's a big win for all of us because our turnaround time is reduced. We're able to do things very quickly. Um, and of course, we're employing folks here in the United States um, instead of sending that money overseas. So you can see a, a continual uh, shift back to the United States um, and to an extent Mexico. Um, we are trying to do more of our um, cut and sew kinds of products in Mexico. So um, just a lot of uh, great success um, in that front. Um. So I had a question about the cutout paper and using it with a mug press. And the answer is no, because the templates that I have on the website are made for a mug press. So when you do a mug in a mug press, you have to set the handle out and that, uh, and that template is going to go right to the edges of, of where you're going to be able to press it with the heat press. Um, yeah, the, uh, the mug presses are very convenient. They're, they're great. Um, they'll do things, um, you know, four and a half, five minutes. But when it comes to uh, going underneath the handle or getting really close to the handle, sublimating on the handle, um, a mug press is not ideal for that. Um, and Maria, do me a favor and just uh, send me an email and, and I'll, I'll take care of that for you. Um, can the shrink wrap be used on glass? So, um, yeah, I would yeah. say that it can. And so that's, again, think of the innovation you folks bring to the table here 
Um, I don't think we've thought about that. Well, so I have. I have. We've, we've done, like you said, we've done the, the glass shot glasses. So I'm trying to think of anything else that's glass that we've done. Ideally, um, the shrink wrap would be good for curved glass. Yeah. and Because you can do, obviously, flat glass um, in, a, in a flat press. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it, with using it with glass. And um, I really haven't had any issues using it with anything. Um, you know, it didn't stick to anything. Um, you know too severely so i mean i don't see why you can't use it on glass for sure but i don't see an advantage of doing it because it's, it's going to take longer than a flat press so no I, I i thought they were talking about like glass mugs oh oh okay like glass to put in a in a oven i don't know i don't know about that yeah. i haven't tried flat stuff because i don't need to i have i have my yeah. my dk20 over here which so all yeah. right I got two minutes. I got two minutes. Let's see how we're doing. So, um, other topics. So, um, starting. Huh? It looks pretty good. It looks okay. pretty good. And, and um, tell us, tell them how you can tell. Oh, so it'll get to a point where it kind of starts to sublimate through the shrink film a little bit. And what I'll do is when I pull this one out of the oven, I will show the difference between this one and the one that's sublimated because you can definitely see, you can see the ink starting to come through. Aloha yeah, the ink. from Hawaii. Ah, good, good. You're with us. So yes, you can look at this and tell where, where if you have a wrap, you're you're not going to be able to tell anything. Um, and plus, wraps you have to use cover paper inside a wrap, um, or you'll get ink um, on the wrap itself, and that's bad. Um, so as far as we can tell, the subless shrink really fills a need. Um, and um, you know, I think the price is right. I mean, it's a it's a low cost solution for for doing better, doing it. I think just as fast, if not faster. But you do re reduce your your transfer time by a couple of minutes because you're not heating the the uh, wrap. Do you leave the clip on while in the oven? Yes. Yep. Um, uh, you're you're going to leave it on because. What that does is it keeps the shrink wrap tight and it keeps it pressed against um, as close to the handle as you can get. So um, let it go for that's, that's what you're really after. Um, you're, you're after um, being able to push the limit so that you can, you can get uh, close to the handle. Um, so how much time do you take off? I think it's going to be depend a little bit on your oven. Um, and so it's going to be one of those kinds to, to test, but typically, um, you know, for 15, for 11 ounce, 15 ounce, you're, you're 15 minutes with a wrap, um, you know, with a typical kind of, of countertop convection oven. Um, I'm guessing with the subtle wrap, you're, you're down around 13 uh, minutes, you think? Yeah, yeah, that's that's completely accurate. Um, so you're cutting about three minutes off of your press time. Okay. Something like that. I'm going to show you guys the difference. Wow, that I know, right? looks unbelievable. So wow. this is, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how it's sublimated? It, it's hard to tell, film? but one of them's distinctly blue. So this one has not been printed yet, and this one is ready. And you can just, I mean, I can see. I can see that it's starting to sublimate. In fact, through. you can see the pattern, hey, look, uh, even on the... There you, um, there you go monitor wow all right yeah pretty cool so let me go ahead and take my shrink film off of this if you one. think about that from the physics of sublimation that makes sense um i'll switch it but to i do the, want uh, you guys to see real quick before you switch it i want you to see what happens because i don't know if you got to see it so well um so this is what you know that's that's how much space area i'm losing when i cut the shrink film Whew, that's hot yeah, it peeled back. Yeah, it peeled back um, quite a bit, but I'll, I'm going to show you. And um, I think that if you work at it, you probably can can um, hold it a little bit um, closer. But again, it's a it's a certainly a a uh, technique in process of perfection. Well, shut the door. Okay. Oh man. So let me uh, go to the top cam. Shut the door. I think that's going to be my new phrase. All right, cool. Yeah, well, my daughter's is always sketchy. Everything. Sketchy. Is she sketchy. does say that a lot. Look at that. Look at that. Look, guys, we're all learning that together. Is, that is tremendous. So, um, so I'll zoom in here. Well, let me. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. So I got a little bit. You can actually see 
where the, the sublish shrink pulled away because you kind of have a little bit of modeling. So it's you got really just a, a tiny bit of lightness there, and um, but that may be resolvable with just a little bit more more heat. How so, cool. Interesting. All right, let's put this one in. Let's see what we get with this one. Okay. All right, so... We're going to do this um, for the same amount job. of time. Good job. Good job. Thanks, David. All right, so if you guys can see, switch back to the front camera. Let's show them how I have the clip. I'm on the front. Okay. There we go. So I have the clip sitting up, and I just set it in the, between the slats and my bottom, my bottom grate. So we're going to let that go for 13 minutes. So it's going to be 417. So for those out there that aren't familiar with doing mugs, um, at this stage, it is very important so let me say that again, it's very important that you cool the mug. And the traditional way used to be you dunk it in, in lukewarm water. We do not do that anymore. And so what you want to do at this point in time is put it over a powerful fan and cool it quickly. Um, and if you do not cool it quickly, bad things happen. The ink will rise. The ink is still very active um, um, in the coating that is on the ceramic and after all mugs are designed to keep things hot so um, we need to cool it quickly with with a fan you could put it on a cool plate if you have one um, our cool plate is like right around here um, so a cool plate is um, an inexpensive heat heat uh, shrink um, heat sink with a fan and so I, I, I love our cool plate um, so again it's one of these sense Ooh, things um, you know, it's, I would say that it's, um, it's very close to being, um, being, you know, ready for prime time. Um, again, it's just a matter of trying to tape it so that, that the shrink wrap does not pull away. Um, but, you know, overall, just, just, uh, just amazing. Um, it really is. It really um, is. And I, yeah, it really is. And, and this is. This is, you know, one of those kind of breakthroughs that we've all wanted in our world is, you know, how do we really sublimate the entire darn mug, you know? And um, I think, think this is the technique um, um, for doing it. The clip is um, also good. It's easy to do. And the advantage of the clip is you get to do the handle. So I mean, I think it's a it's it's a little quicker, in in my opinion, you know, because you have to tape kind of you have to put yeah. four pieces of tape. I think doing this is is a lot more efficient. You know, you just put the clip on, take the clip off. Um, so it, it's going to be a matter of uh, for the future, is there a technique that that does it all? Um, that is that is trivial to do. Do it in seconds. Um, and and um, you know, with your help. We're, we're probably going to figure it out. We'll probably figure it out. So I had a question about the oven. A couple of questions about the oven, Maria. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> so this is a Hamilton Beach convection oven. We got this from Walmart for 75 bucks. I like it, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy this oven because I don't think that the convection fan is powerful enough. And, oh, and also this handle gets really, really hot. So you can't just open and close it you definitely have to use gloves so for that reason i would not recommend this however if you have to do a couple of mugs or do a couple of water bottles and you're you know you got to do it now it's 75 dollars get it it's i mean it's not going to break on you we've been using it i guess it's been about a month now we've been running it all the time we've done quite a bit of product in it and it's very consistent um, just for the testing and the calibration that i have to do i think we're uh, maybe there we did we, uh, did we? We're back. Okay, so we're back. Maybe it just hiccuped. Sorry, um, I started to see it. It it get glitched a little bit. So you know, I would. I mean, I would say get it. I still need to go to Lowe's. I still need to go to Home Depot and really tell you guys out of all of the ones at the box stores, which one do I like the most? And I, I promise I will do it. So can you lay it down in the oven sideways? Yes, you can. Um, so if you have a water bottle that's too tall, you can definitely lay it down sideways. You're going to need a piece of Nomex felt, which is this material right here, and this material is used. Well, it's it's um, it, it's what's used um, is a fire retardant barrier, so to speak, and we use it uh, typically on a flat press on the bottom 
to keep things from breaking, um, you know, like ceramics, glass, things like that. Um, in the oven, it's a, it's a perfect um, heat barrier, meaning um, that your mug doesn't hit the, you know, metal in your, your oven. Yeah, so, so if you're going to do a water bottle, um, the way I suggest to do it is get you a piece of Nomex, lay it down in your oven, make sure that it's not laying on a heat, heating element, because if you lay it on a heating element, it will burn. And so you don't want to do that. You just want to lay it maybe on your rack, you know, and then lay your water bottle in. And halfway through your press time, your cook time for your water bottle, you want to take your water bottle and flip it all the way over. Um, because if you keep it laying on that Nomex, then the part that's touching the Nomex is not getting as, is not getting enough heat. And so, um, and so it's going to, it's going to discolor a little bit on that bottom edge. So just halfway through your, your dwell time, your cook time, you want to turn it 180 degrees over onto the other side and that should be good. Um, so if you've got a, you know, reasonable budget, um, getting a normal convection oven, um, like you would use in a kitchen big, you know, those generally have excellent convection fans. And never, ever cook food in the same oven that you were sublimating in. I'm glad you, you reiterated that. So that's the point that we'll say one more time. We, um, we shouldn't take any risk, any chances of, of cross-contamination. So your sublimation oven is for sublimation. Food oven is for food. Um, and Maria, you ask as many questions as you want to ask. How many items can you put in at a time? Well, as pretty much as many as will fit. Um, I mean, right. So that's the advantage of, of getting a bigger and bigger oven. For instance, we've got a fair number of the smaller ovens going back the Cuisinart brick oven, the Wolfgang Puck um, pressure oven, and just dozens of others. And bottom line is, um, as the drinkware has matured, um, those ovens are just not big enough to get the job done. So we, we very much really suggest getting a bigger oven is, is going to be the ticket for most people. Um, we have in our, um, in, our, in our lab one of the big Hicks um, stationary ovens, and that puppy is, is awesome. Um, it's pretty amazing. It, it is expensive, um, and... You know, depending on your, your budget situation, um, I don't think you're going to find a, a, a better oven. Um, and its it, its heat output is beyond belief. How long can we do a, like a 11-ounce mug? We're doing five 11-ounce ceramics. So we're doing five of these mugs that would normally take 15 minutes in this oven. We're doing five of them for 10 minutes. Yeah. So you are cutting your time down so much and I know I mean it's it's kind of hard to weigh that huge investment via you know time spent but I mean it really it really does pay for itself um, you know it's it's up to you you know I'd, I'd say get you a bigger heat press flat press get you a bigger printer um, whatever but but a, a normal kitchen kind of convection oven maybe you get it off um, one of those services like Craigslist find somebody um, I think think you'll be very happy. All right, and I see I see the question about the mug paper, and I'll come back to that. Uh, khaki, do you need to increase the time if you turn the mug if you turn it if you have to turn it halfway because you open the door? And I would say no, no, because you're not really losing that much heat, and you know you're pressing these for so long that 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 20 seconds of that ambient air, I think I think it'll be fine. Um, I don't know about that, Lisa. Lisa's asking, could you wrap one of the seatbelt covers on the oven handle? That's actually a really good idea. The MP, what is it, 034? Um, I, I think the answer is you could. Yeah, because you can put um, the whole thing in the heat press. Yeah, so, so, so yeah. But I would um, be wary about, because it's not, and I see you scoob-doo. Tell me what your real name is so I don't have to call you by your, uh, your handle. Um, but Lisa, the issue is not so much this part as the metal part right behind it. So it's when you stick your fingers in here that you accidentally touch the metal behind it, and that's what's going to get you. So um, yeah, you know, it's just I guess each oven is is a little bit different. That was a surprise in in the, <laughs> in the wrong direction. <laughs> not a good um, surprise. No, no, not um, at all. 
And then the answer about the cutout paper in the mug press. So when you use a mug press, you only have a certain area that's going to, to get heat. So even if you, um, Cheryl, okay, Cheryl. So even if you, even if you use that in the mug press, the mug press, the heating element is still going to stop about, you know. It, it's going to stop about an inch Ooh. as you approach the handle. So right. you've really, you've got an inch on each side of the handle that you're not going to be able to decorate. Um, and that's if you're doing everything right. Um, plus, you know, mug presses, again, are very handy, um, but they're not going to allow you to get that close to the handle. Um, and number two is mug presses tend to be a little bit finicky with um, getting great top to bottom results. Um, if you're buying a great grade of mugs like we sell, then you probably got a good shot at it. But um, you really need to be using a great uh, mug that has dimensional stability. Um, you know, you just got to do everything right uh, to get it so you, you've got that waste factor. But when you shift to an oven, uh, suddenly these things just simply go away. And, and you're, you're able to get consistently good top to bottom mugs, even with a mug wrap. Yes. And one of the other things that I notice, is, so especially now, now that I can see how sublimation is happening here, so it's actually, you, I can tell that it's losing heat through the door. So the door is not insulated as well as the other three sides, and I can tell that because I can see how my mug is sublimating through the shrink film. So I can see that in, towards the back has sublimated more than towards the front. So, you know, that's just another thing with this this particular oven now once again like I say it will work it will definitely work um, it's just not the one that I can go hey guys you need to go get this oven right now um, yeah we're gonna continue to shop for ovens and uh, we'll get a little cart and stroll down the aisle I think we need to hit um, where did we say we need to Lowe's Lowe's Home Depot do they We've sell ovens Walmart. at Home Depot it um, sounds like they should. Home, I'm, I'm home sure department. they do. Um, so, at any rate, we'll keep in tune. But, bottom line is, um, we have a lot of drinkware today. The polymer drinkware. Uh, why don't you grab grab the polymer drinkware there? Um, you got that. I got this. Um, I got, got this. I those. got that. So this is this is amazing here. Um, and um, this you sublimate to. You can you can put it in a shrink wrap bag and you're going to go top to bottom. Um, just amazing. And talk about easy. Um, just amazing. Just put it in the bag, put the transfer, put it in the bag, and when you're finished, you assemble it together like this, and you've got you a very um, high value, you know, quote, expensive looking um, travel mug, um, and, and the men and the ladies are just going to love this. Um, you know, you think, so many so many opportunities so this is probably of all the drinkware uh, this is absolutely the the favorite what's the part number for this tongue 450 ss okay guys so i took this out of the oven you can see it, where it's sublimating through the shrink film super cool right so i'm going to take my clip off i'm going to set it somewhere because that is hot and then i'm going to cut my shrink film off yeah we do use heat around here so it's hot you don't like the heat, stay out of the sublimation kitchen. Uh, oh, and I did want to say, guys, I see a few of you that are commenting that were my winners from last week, and I have not gotten to you yet. Trust me, you will totally, ooh, you will be receiving your prize. Um, it is just at the time that I can get to it. All right. So I probably should have let this one go another minute, but we have just as good a results getting us just as close to the handle. I let the other one go for 14. I should have let this one go for 14. Um, so anytime you're doing a larger surface area, you do need to add a little bit of time. Because yeah, I think this oven is not putting out the kind of heat really um, that, that it should. Um, uh, hey, but that's really cool. How about that? How about that? All right, guys, let's, uh, let's have you look at this. So, like that. so not quite as good on the handle this time. Not quite. Yeah. Um, so it didn't get as it didn't get as close to the 
the, so this is the one, this is really hot, and I apologize, I'm trying to. All right, so this is the one I just did, and you can see I have that cute little graphic on the, the handle. I'm going to set this down so it can cool. But had we gone, had we continued to go longer. That um, would have been fine. Then it would have been better. But yep. the advantage of, or disadvantage of live TV, right? But it still looks really, really good. So if I would have let it go another minute, if I would have let it go for 14 minutes, I think that one would have been perfect. And like I said, that was kind of my fault. You know, the more surface area that you're sublimating, the more time you need to add. So, you know, for instance, if I, we were doing a 15-ounce mug, you need to add a little bit more time because there's more surface area that needs to be heated. But it really comes down to the power of your oven. That it's, as well, It's yes. not the temperature that cooks sublimation. It's the heat. So just like... Um, you know, having a, let's say it's midwinter and, and you've, you know, got a little space heater that's like this tall and it's putting out very hot air compared to a big space heater putting out exactly the same temperature of air. A little heater is not going to do anything. It's just not, not putting out enough heat compared to the big one. So it's not the temperature that's getting the job done. It's heat. And um, I have a feeling this, this oven is leaking a lot of heat out the front. Yeah, so. it really, like I said, you can see it. And also, you know, you can see because, um, so the back of the mug was towards, so, or excuse me, this part of the mug was towards the back of the oven, and then this part of the mug was towards the front of the oven, so you can see how the heat is kind of going away from the front of this mug. Yeah. So, you know, oh, well. I like the oven. I do. I like it. I like it. It works. Well, what we may do is... But is, for our calibration yeah, purposes, do, it just... Do another repeat in the future, and... Um, and, you know, when I tell people when, when they're not happy with the results, you know, let's say they're not optimum um, or they're maybe a complete failure, um, that's where you turn to your wall of shame. And we put the products on there, which we have around here probably too many places. And, and you learn from it. And I think the real trick is to carry you a Sharpie marker and you'll document on the bottom of the mug your transfer technique so that, um, and then put in your sublimation journal, what you did, how you did it, and then you tune from there. Um, and we did a lot of testing, um, unfortunately on our big oven and um, not as much on the little oven. So uh, that's why, why we didn't quite do as, as good a job as, as I would like, but um, it also demonstrates sort of the, the, the reality of what you need to go through when you're when you're tuning but once you nail it then that's where you do you go in there and document so that it's a repeatable thing so that that ultimately your waste is minimal that looks fantastic it on does the look handle. and i see you guys talking about kind of like how how to design for the handle and all of that um so is it is it possible to cover the entire handle so the issue with the handle is that the handle is not not technically coated for sublimation so um you know the the, the handle's kind of getting like some overspray of of the the sublimation uh, coating and so what's going to happen is you're going to be kind of limited to just this area and so i saw uh cheryl said initials would be good like a person's name um i saw i've seen some really cute like arrows and little hearts and stuff but i don't know if you guys can see so it's not the i mean it's not the cleanest thing in the world but it is it is really cute for just a kind of a, like a design flair also um, again you know you're welcome to see how far you can extend it um, for for your design probably you could extend it a little further um, but certainly that's that's a nice sweet spot where sprite put it so that's that's very attractive many other questions are going to be you know can you sublimate to the bottom of the mug um, no it's not coated so um, can you coat mugs? You shouldn't um, because you're, you're involved with a bunch of federal laws, state laws, and you would have to send also, it off for testing. chemicals and stuff in general. So, so you shouldn't do that. Um, and then uh, next, everybody always asks, what about the inside of the mug? Can I transfer it to the inside of the mug? And I would say certainly we are um, openly discussing with some of our mug uh, coating partners, um, you know, you know, could that be done? Uh, I have seen a couple of people around the world do it. 
Um, but what they're doing is is they're coating the inside of the mug, um, you know, because the outside's already coated. And is that a wise thing? Um, I don't think it is. Um, so, um, you know, the the you you really have to be compliant with the laws for products that are used in food and drink, and uh, that's everything from Prop 65, FDA requirements on lead, cadmium, um, and then, you know, you really fall under the CPSIA laws, and so you've got all sorts of challenges, um, and so when it comes to uh, food and drinkware kind of products, um, those are not products you should be coating yourself. All right, guys, so that's all I have today. Um, I did want to remind you, so starting tomorrow, we have our Made in USA sale. So all kinds of fun stuff. We have coffee mugs, car flags, Chromalux, color light, Unisub, all kinds of stuff. We have 10% off of Nina paper. Um, so that's going to be for the entire the sales, month of July. Sales are excellent. Um, yeah. Sales are, I think they're, they're uh, for the most part, going to last column, which is big big discounts. Yeah, yeah, so that's huge um, savings. So, so this is the time to stock up and um, I would say, you know, if you see a Made in USA product, which would be, it is indicated on our website. So if you go to the product, it's got a little icon there um, and, um, you know, it, it, you know, order stuff that's on sale, you know, as you need it. Um, and then uh, if something strikes your fancy and you wish it was on sale, but maybe it's not, um, why not? Touch base with your Condi rep and uh, see what you can do. That's right. And just so you guys know, um, uh, Karen, I'll get to your question. Just so you guys know, we have a couple of other pretty big sales coming up this month. So we have summer savings going on the entire month of July. Very excited. So we're going to announce those as they come up. And um, Karen, when will we know who the winners are for the quarterly contest? We will announce those next Friday when David and I go live. Um, so this was just kind of an impromptu thing because we promised Barb last week that we would do it. And so I wanted to show you all the mugs. Um, Cheryl, I would love for you to come dance a jig for me in the lobby. That would be great. Um, I'll give you this mug. You come dance a jig, you can have this mug. Um, but so yeah. we'd, we'd like your feedback um, because obviously these things you can do today if you have the shrink wrap, um, start practicing. We probably ought to um, run a uh, you know gallery contest of people that are using the subless shrink on uh, the like the 11 and 15 ounce mugs. Um, I think it's awesome. Um, it's going to take a little time for everybody to perfect their technique. Um, but they're definitely headed in the right direction. That's right. And um, Joseph sales on a George Knight DK20S. Not all of our products that are made in America, or made in the United States, are are on sale. But you know, some of them are. So. Yeah, the George Knight Company is um, is one of the very few U.S. manufacturers, true U.S. manufacturers, and um, I think the George Knight presses are worth every penny. Um, that they sell for because those presses, the heat platen on almost all the George Knight presses are warranted for life to the original purchaser. Um, and the George Knight company, I think is probably one of the very few companies that you literally could, could call them up for a heat press that's 20 years old and say, I need a new thermostat, I need a new rheostat, I need some new electronics. And it is highly likely that um, that they're going to be able to ship that out to you, you know, really for a minimal amount of money, to to keep that press going. And so I tell everybody, you know, if you buy a George Knight press, um, it is likely that um, that you're going the press is going to outlive you, and of course it'll go to the next person that gets it. That's right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those presses, you can just you know pass them on from line pass to line. Them on. Pass them on. Um, so, um, yeah, if you guys want to come dance for me, you can dance in the chair. You can dance however you want to. I don't care. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, I appreciate we, or I'm, I apologize that we don't have any of our normal guess the weight, things like that today. But like I said, this was just kind of an impromptu thing. We wanted to tell you what we had going on with our sales. We wanted to show what we were working on in the mugs. We'll see you next Friday. Yep. Thank you all. Watching, have guys. a great fourth and be safe. Bye. Take care.